This week is a pretty big week for me. I finally qualified to apply for my citizenship here in Canada. It's a super long process. You basically have to be here for 1,095 days physically present. Um, as once you're already a permanent resident so it's not a not a quick process to become a citizen here and as I was filling in the like, endless mountain of paperwork I've been reflecting a bit on how I came to be here and kind of all the steps that, that led me to where I am now and I was gonna do a video just you know showing me going to the post office to post off this big thick application but I thought actually it might be a bit more fun to reflect back on how I got here Basically, my desire to come to Canada started in about 2008 or 2009. Uh, I was in university in England and I saw this internet kayak video called Stakeout, which followed this group of kayakers all around some of the best uh, freestyle kayaking waves, which all happened to be around the Ottawa and around kind of Northern Quebec region. And I saw that and I was like, yeah, I definitely want a piece of that. Fast forward to 2011 slash 2012, I think maybe like January 2012 or December 2011, I can't remember exactly. Um, I was kayaking in Mexico, having a great time, running some waterfalls. I traveled there alone, so I was always meeting new people to paddle with. And two of the people I paddled with were Canadians from Ottawa, uh, and their names were Joel and Blake. And we got to talking, paddled a lot, and we're kind of shooting the breeze about coming to the Ottawa and you know how feasible that would be for me. And Joel said, you know, if you've got a work visa and you don't mind cutting grass, there's always stuff to do. So after that trip, I went home, I organized a working holiday visa, which is a super easy visa to get if you're from England um, for Canada. And I called my friend Joel, I was like, okay, like, you know, who do I speak to next about getting a job? Like super fired up to, to come out to the Ottawa and he gave me the number of the guy um, who was hiring at this company, Wilderness Tours. And so I called the guy and he was pretty evasive on the phone. He was like, well, we've kind of already hired everyone for the year. I don't know if we've got any more uh, positions available, but maybe there's something if you're here, I don't know. And I went back and forth for a bit and eventually just said, fuck it. I got on a plane, I flew to Ottawa with my kayak. I got on a bus across the city and then a bigger bus um, to a town kind of close by and then ended up hitchhiking with my kayak which wasn't hard at all and ended up at Wilderness Tours and basically I just sat outside until they gave me a job and that was so much fun. That first summer here was amazing experiencing the Ottawa River, there's unbelievable kayaking, amazing open space like I've never seen before especially coming from England where everything's like on top of each other just all this sick white water, big open spaces, it really blew my mind. And that was all like compounded with this amazing community of kayakers in this area. Um, a group of people who are fun and friendly and welcoming like I'd never experienced before. It was unbelievable. One thing kind of led to another and I ended up coming back here for the following summer. I ended up applying for my permanent residency. And as a result of being here, I met a fantastic amount of amazing people. I've been on some really cool trips around Canada in northern Manitoba, surfing Dreamwave and some other overseas expeditions that I got the opportunity to do because I kind of met people here. And there's been so many good times. There's been some down times too, for sure. But honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change any of them for the world. The final step for me here is to send in my application to become a citizen the most important office in a democracy, citizen. The only real difference between a permanent resident and citizen is I'll get to vote in the next round of elections and I'll get a passport, which doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, it's that last, the last step on um, becoming Canadian, if you will. And honestly, pretty pumped about it. I never really set out to like become Canadian. Uh, when I first came over here, I just came to go kayaking and, and one thing led to another. And I think if I've learned one lesson from my extended time of one thing leading to another, it's um, just gotta go for it. So if you're thinking about going to Canada, highly recommend. If you haven't been before, you gotta go, it's amazing. And yeah, I'm happy. I just wanted to kind of share this story with you. Um, 
because I don't think I've done a video on it before and I don't know, maybe some people don't know or whatever, but pretty much I'm pumped about this and uh, and yeah, that's kind of all I've got to say about it. I'm, uh, I'm stoked and I will see you in a future video. Peace.